Hello everyone. Welcome to Dentist. Today we are going to discuss some of the important question of human physiology and this will be our part two. In part one, we have already discussed the important questions on general physiology, blood, nerve muscle physiology and the digestive system. Moving ahead in part two, we will be describing the important questions on CBS or the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system and the excretory system. Remaining units important questions will be described in the next part. So, without wasting much time, let us begin the lecture. First, we have the cardiovascular system. In long note, from this unit, the most frequently asked question are the cardiac cycle and cardiac output. These two are the most important question, uh, important questions asked from this unit. In cardiac cycle and cardiac output, I have already mentioned the points which are needed to be uh, written in your answer as long ago. Please watch our videos in Dentationally on Human Physiology CVS, where we have mentioned the stages and the phases of cardiac cycle. And in cardiac output, we have mentioned the factors between cardiac output and other methods uh, for measuring the cardiac output. Next, we have the regulation of BP. In regulation of BP, definitely it is the most frequently asked long note as well from this unit. In this, the points which are needed to mention are the short term regulation, intermediate regulation, and the long term regulation of BP. And also, you must mention the baroreceptors. You will find these points in your textbook from AKGEL or it might be from Semilegal. Next, physiology of shock. As a long note, it comes less, but yeah, for a short note, it definitely comes. The circulatory shock or the differences between different types of shock, which we will discuss in further slides. Moving ahead, the short answer type questions. In, so, in short answer type question, ECG can be asked, and you might be asked to give the graph. Please practice this graph as much time as possible because uh, a minor change or minor mistake in graph can give zero marks to your answer, right? Because a minor changes in graph can uh, affect your answer or can affect the ECG. Next is the circulatory shock. Short note on circulatory shock is frequently asked. Role of baroreceptor, short term regulation of BP. This have already said in regulation of BP. Next, yes, the heart sound. Different types of heart sounds. Basically, the question asked in this topic is difference between different types of shock, uh, different types of heart sounds. In different types of heart sounds, the first and second heart sound is mostly asked. The difference between first and second heart sound, which I've already discussed in my videos. Next, we have the methods of measurement of cardiac output. Methods of measurement of cardiac output, the fixed principle is the most important method which you must mention in your answer and other methods too you should answer in your in, you should mention in your answer yes lastly we have one more short note that is the wind castle vessel you will find this answer in your textbook moving ahead the differences as i already said uh, as i already said the differences between first and second heart sounds and the different types of shots clear Going to our next unit, that is the respiratory system. In respiratory system, the long answer type questions asked are transport of gases. Transport of gases includes both O2 and CO. It also includes bore and Haldane effects, as well as the chloride shift. Hope so you guys know the other name of chloride shift is 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 it is hamburger phenomena near hamburger phenomena. okay next comes the regulation of respiration in regulation of respiration you guys will mention the neural as well as the chemical regulation 
there are different charts given in our book different diagrams are given in our book you should practice those diagrams those charts okay <laughs> moving ahead the last topic that can be asked in a long note from this unit is hypoxia please mark this as the most important question in hypoxia there are different types of graphs which i have already discussed in my videos the graphs the different types of hypoxia all these are needed to be mentioned in your answer if you write long answer question okay moving further the short answer type mechanism of respiration includes both inspiration and expiration okay mechanism of respiration or mechanism of breathing lung volumes vital capacity yes this vital capacity is the most important question from all this among all this question vital capacity is the most important question along with this the question asked are the factors affecting vital capacity okay the factors affecting vital capacity next alveolar surface tension surfactants and compliance alveolar ventilation and dead space all these are asked in your two marks or next two marks three marks and last is the chloride shift in this please include the diagram it is given in our textbook chloride shift to make you guys confused it can also be asked as hamburger formula so i have already said that chloride shift is also known as hamburger formula adding on to it we have the differences between different types of hypoxia peripheral medullary chemo receptor given in our textbook pulmonary alveolar ventilation given in our textbook and lastly the bohr and hendon effect which we must know why in transport of gases you will definitely learn about board and hand in it okay so going into our last unit that is the excretory system in excretory system very limited questions are asked that are firstly mechanism of urine formation obviously mechanism of urine formation we are learning since i guess class 10 right so mechanism of urine formation micturition reflex the gfr and its effect Where it's in GFR and its effect. Okay, why I'm highlighting it because these are some obvious questions asked in your terminals and profs. Yeah, to make you uh, to give you a reminder, we will provide you the PDF of these important questions in our description box for your betterment. Okay, so GFR and its factors are the most important, uh, the most frequently asked question in your terminals and profs. and the last that is the counter current mechanism please mark this as important next we have the short answer type questions and the difference between difference between not much but yeah the cortical nephron and juxtamedullary nephron you will definitely learn in nephron in structure of nephron you will draw the diagram and you will write the different types of it. there are two main types of nephron cortical nephron and juxtamedullary nephron okay clear cortical nephron and juxtamedullary nephron yeah if not so then it can come as a difference difference between cortical nephron and juxtamedullary nephron you can also be asked the difference between diabetes mellitus and insipidus hope you guys know what is diabetes mellitus and insipidus if not i have mentioned this in my videos so please go through that videos first next important short notes can be asked on juxta medullary apparatus juxta glomerular apparatus pardon me it's juxta glomerular apparatus where you must write the three different types or the three different parts which include the jg cells and other parts okay you can also draw a diagram diagram is given in your textbook so i'm not uh, showing the diagram here and finally there's sometimes it can be asked renal clearance okay so hope so that uh, important questions are clear to you all and 
90% I think 90% I have completed in my videos the important question I have covered in my video so yeah that's uh, helpful for you guys thank you so much keep learning and keep supporting our channel dentist ready we'll keep uh, updating you with the important questions we will also try to provide you the important questions on other subjects like the human anatomy and dental anatomy and dental histology till then keep learning thank you